When she heard the cue, she walked down the aisle as she held her flowers. What was this event? A wedding. A wedding. Da, 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 da. And we're finished. Very good game, Shake. <laughs> when children reach fourth or fifth grades, they spend more time reading on their own. But they still need lots of practice and help from their parents to get better. They need to be able to read words accurately with expression and at a good speed. Teachers call this fluency. Sometimes parents think children should understand and remember everything in the story the first time they read it. But children often need to talk about a story or to read it several times to really understand it. Also, as they read, teachers will ask children to read beyond the words. At this age, children are asked to tell the difference between facts and opinions in what they read, to separate causes and effects, and to make inferences about what they read. Teachers call this reading comprehension. Here are some ways to help your child improve his reading comprehension and fluency. As children grow up, much of what they read will contain facts and opinions. A fact is something that has or can be shown to be true. An opinion is the view somebody takes about an issue, especially when it's based solely on personal judgment. For this game, start by cutting apart set one fact or opinion football cards. Shuffle them and place them face down in a stack. Place the goalpost sheet in front of your child. So, Jada, we're going to play a game called Fact or Opinion Football. And here we have a stack of cards, each one that I read to you. I'm going to have you decide whether you think it's a fact or an opinion. Okay? So, the first one is, all children like to ride skateboards. I think that's an opinion because not all of them. Even though you like to ride skateboards, maybe not everybody does. Good, so you made the goal, so put that over the goal post. Now, dogs bark. That's a fact. That's a fact because that... our neighbors have dogs. <laughs> they bark. Yes, they do. Okay. So you put that. That's the opinion. Oh, okay, opinion and fact. Next. There are 12 months in a year. That's a fact. That's a fact. Trucks are big and noisy. That's an opinion. I think that's a fact. Yeah. Trucks are big and noisy. No, not all trucks are big and noisy. Not all trucks. Let me check my sheet and see what it says. It says that trucks are big and noisy is an opinion, so you're right. You can check the fact or opinion parent answer sheet for the correct answer. answer. Keep playing until all the cards are gone. Zebras have stripes. That's a fact. It looks like you won the game. Play the game again using set two, fact or opinion Cards. And that's also opinion. That's also an opinion. Yeah, you're very good at this game. I think you beat me. Teachers also will ask children to identify causes and effects in what they read. The farmer plants the seeds and waters them. Can you find the effect among these okay. four cards? A cause is what makes something happen or is responsible for something that happens. An effect is a change that occurs as a direct result of a cause. Cut apart the set one cause cards. Shuffle them and place them face down in a stack on the table. Cut apart the set one effect cards and place them face up on the table in a row. 
Have your child select the top card from the cause stack and read it out loud. The girl felt cold. What do you think the effect was? Mm. The river overflowed into the streets and houses, no. Corn and beans grow, no. He ate a sandwich, no. She put on a jacket, okay. The girl mm. felt cold, so she put on a jacket. The girl felt cold, so she put on a jacket. That was the effect of her being cold. It rained for three days and nights. He ate a sandwich, no. Corn and beans grew, no. The river overflowed the streets and houses, yeah. It rained for three nights, so the river overflowed into the streets and houses. Right. Okay, and the last one. Billy was very hungry, so he ate a sandwich. Play the same game using set two cause and effect cards. And then again with set three. All right, you start. Julie studied for the test. He was late for school. No, I don't think so. She made an A on the test. Probably. The mother picked up the baby. The students lined up at the classroom door. I think it's she made an A on the test. Julie studied for the test, so she got an A on it. Yeah, the effect was that she made an A on it. All right, let's play the last round of cause and effect. Okay. She brushes and flosses her teeth every day. He scraped his knee and elbow. No. She has no cavities. Yes, but let's keep checking. The fire alarm sounded. The neck or the next day he was tired and took a nap. She has no cavities. She, br she brushes and flosses her teeth every day so she has no cavities. And I like the way that even though you knew this was the right answer, you checked all of them before you decided on it, just in case. As children read, they need to draw inferences from what they read. Inferences are ideas your child figures out through reasoning when the answers aren't specifically given in a passage or text. If I say to you, I saw an elephant today, can you infer where I might have seen the elephant? Where would I have been to see an elephant? At the zoo. So this game is going to explain situations, things that people do, and we're going to, I have a sheet and you have a sheet, of different activities or places that they might be, things they might be doing, and we're going to decide which, uh, by inference, where they are or what they were doing. And then if we get it right, we're gonna put a cheerio on the right answer. Cut apart the incredible inference cards, shuffle them, and place them face down in a stack between you and your child. Give incredible inference game sheet number one to your child and keep game sheet number two for yourself. Taking turns, you and your child draw a card from the stack and read it. And rinsed him off. Skippy barked and shook himself up. What was happening? So what was happening with Skippy? Were they did they go to the playground? No, because they were getting wet. So, not going swimming because you wouldn't be swimming and washing yourself off. Washing yourself off while you're swimming. Were they baking cookies no. at the zoo? No. Was he petting the dog? No, I think he was giving the dog a bath. He was giving the dog a bath. Okay, give yourself a Cheerio and put it on that correct answer. All right, next card, my turn. The family saw many animals. First they saw the giraffes, then they went to the bear den. They thought the monkeys were very fun to watch. Where is the family? I think the family. Is it baking cookies, no. eating a meal? No. They go to the playground? No, I think. Were they in the forest? I think they are at the zoo. At the zoo, I think so. The forest, 
maybe, but forest wouldn't have monkeys, so. You have to give it plenty of food and water. It needs to go outside and get fresh air and sunshine. You need to pet it and play with it. What do you have? Pet it and play with it. No. This has to be something living. So it's got to be a dog. Got to be a dog. Continue playing until all the circles are covered on both game sheets. We have given you a Parents' Incredible Inferences answer sheet so you know which inference goes with each statement. Butter in a bowl. They roll it into balls and put them in the oven. What are they doing? Baking cookies. Baking cookies. And we finished. We got them all right. If your child did okay with the Incredible Inferences game, you can play the same type of game with more advanced statements. This time, use the more incredible inference cards and more incredible inference game sheets. The boy rode his bike to his friend's house after dinner. When he got there, he rang the bell. He waited, but no one came to the door. He looked in the driveway. The car was not there. There were no lights on, and the windows were all closed. The boy got back on his bike and went home. What did the boy think? What did the boy think? Hmm. These statements are more difficult, so your child may need your help in finding the correct inferences. If your child has trouble coming up with the answers, you could have him read the card again, point out clues for him, have him go through the answers on the game card to see if any make sense. Once again, we've given you a parent's more incredible inferences answer sheet so you know which inference goes with each statement. Oh, we're almost at the finish line. The young woman looked down at her long dress. She felt like a princess. She, she and the others stood in the hall. They listened to the music. When she heard the cue, she walked down the aisle as she held her flowers. What was this event? A wedding. A wedding. Da, 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 da. And we're finished. Very good game, Shake. If you and your child enjoy these activities, tell your child's teacher. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home. If your child is having a hard time with these activities, you can also talk to your child's teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activities to help. Good job. Give me five.